Hi, Charlie Rose here today with Rosenity Woodworks. And what I'm gonna show you is how we take something simple like this tool stand, add casters to it. You've got a new dance partner, check this out. She may not be as cute as you want her to be, but these casters on this tool stand are gonna make your life and your shop easy, whether your shop's big, small, or somewhere in between. This is a real simple way to make things in your shop easier to get to. Stay tuned, watch how we build it here. All I'm gonna do is lift it up, lift it up, it just unlocks. Each one of them pops back. Go. And the front one. There we go. So there it's securely in place and it makes it real easy to access um, as far as making it to where you don't have to stoop down and do it too. And because these are somewhat tied together, it's easier to tip up. You just want to make sure you, if you have anything on here, it doesn't come flying open or falling off the top. But you can see now, we're good to go. All right, now that we've got that in place, let's go ahead and take these items off. The scrap pieces that I used for the legs of this stand still have a coating on there. So I'm going to sand that coating off. These are non-coated uh, Baltic birch here. So I'm going to sand this off so it gives a little bit of a secure surface in which the glue to adhere to. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. So we're going to go ahead and add these blocks. I've got three 18 millimeter blocks and we're going to, they've been ripped down the side to be flush with this particular part of the table leg. Now it doesn't come all the way out to the edge and I'm not too concerned about that. But the big thing is I want to be able to get this distance pushed away here and I'll show you why. So if we take the template that's provided with the caster, this being at the bottom of the floor to give you a gauge of where this is going to be. So I know that it's going to mount somewhere in this area right here. You can see here that as, as the table caster or the casters try to spin, it's going to hit against this bottom. Now, even if I shift it all the way out, which is not good because now you're starting to get closer to the edge of this leg, it clears, but it's just very little wiggle room. You can see here, if you get a lot of weight on it, it's going to rub too. So what we want to be able to do is just bump this out. And I could probably bump it out one or two. I just think it looks a little bit better if I can get it more substantial here and we're going to glue it together and then I'm going to use my nailing gun and I'm going to nail these pieces together. I'm going to nail toward the tops and bottoms, get this all glued up. So I already put me some lines to gauge where the glue should go and we're going to start just putting it on here. Now what I like to do is, it's real simple, just put it against there and just smear it around. Try not to smear it out past the lines but this kind of helps spread Spread the wealth. Get the glue. Get the glue flowing. Feel the flow, Happy. Feel it. It's circular. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and put some on the back of this one. And here, I'm going up and down because I'm going to slide this back and forth. So I'm going to rub it on the bottom just to get some glue across that surface. And then we're going to rub it back and forth. And really that just gets a good coverage area without having to spread it. You can still spread it. I do that too. Make sure we're still flush.
Okay, so I actually goofed, and fortunately we caught it before I got completely done with it, but there is some a little bit of collateral damage there, and I'll show you what I did, the mistake that I made. So when I cut this template out, and I looked at it, I just thought, okay, well if I just make these blocks big enough for that, we should be fine, and which would have been okay, but by the time I moved it all the way down to the bottom, like I did on the previous three, you can see here once I slide it to the bottom, the holes for the template are going to be off of this particular block. So what I did is I'm going to add this to the bottom like this and that's how I'm going to build the block. Now unfortunately I had already done the other ones with these at the bottom so I added the block at the top. I don't particularly like that because of where this hole pattern is going to fall into it so we'll see how it holds up. I'm going to glue it, nail it, Keep my fingers crossed, maybe say a prayer or two. Dear Lord baby Jesus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. And hopefully it doesn't have any problems with it. Fortunately, it's not a heavy uh, table, uh, so I'm hopeful that that's not gonna be a problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue this up and show you how I did that. Hopefully you'll avoid this mistake through what I did. Alright, so now that I've got the blocks, we should be good to go. We're going to take the template, now that I know how to use it, is we're going to put it and align it, center it up on the post at the bottom of the leg, and essentially what that allows me to do is come in with a center punch, and I'm just going to go ahead and put these holes in. I've already done this first one here, I've got my drill bit set, so I'm going to go ahead and drill these out, and hopefully we don't hit anything such as a nail in there. I don't think we will. So essentially just take this plate, it's pretty straightforward, it lines up to the hole pattern, and just go to town. And then come back and finish up, right? when you assemble this, this particular brand has two different lengths of bolts and they both go through this mounting plate and the two other pieces they go through is this bottom plate that supports the caster and then the kickstand at the top. The kickstand is a little bit narrow as you can see here. That's the one that has to have the shorter bolt to be able to go through it. So we'll go ahead and do that one first. lock washers here and it comes with a little handy tool that comes with the um, kit. Now I remember in the past installing these if you try to use a socket in some places here's a not an example of where that's necessarily the case but these are handy um, a little clunky to work with but it's well thought out in terms of the design itself so we're just going to go ahead lock nut again Small size here we have on the end. Same thing, you don't want to get so tight, and you may not be able to, but you don't want to get so tight that you make anything binding. It needs to be able to be freely moving, but it's rigid enough. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be able to. There we go. Tips up out of the way, tips down and activated. That locks it in place. You can see there, it won't push up until I release this. Then all we have to do is add the wheel and you've got a large nut for that as well. This is where in the past it's a tricky thing to do. Um, 
I think it only came with one of these and it wasn't quite as detailed with all the different hole sizes. Um, but when you put this on and you put the nut on, you can see it here. So far so good. You're thinking, ah, I'll just put a socket on that end. Well, you need to hold that nut. Well, it's very shallow. There's not a lot of clearance in there. Now, in the, the clever design that they did with this tool, it allows you to slide it right in there. And then I can take this one and put it on top. And like I said, I could just easily use a socket to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and use the tool provided here. Get this out of the way so you can see that a little better. Tighten that one all the way up there too. Still, the caster's going to move freely. You can see here. That gives me the clearance that I need. Lift this up, and it's out of the way. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the rest of these. So now we're going to try this one that's partially assembled, and I did that to be able to show the challenges earlier. So we'll see if we can mount this. It looks like we might be able to. I know you can't do it. You cannot do it with the wheel on here, though. The wheel causes the problem. So once you take that or the caster off, then you have access to the whole pattern. So you can see when I discovered earlier that I had goofed up, this is my attempt of, of knocking it off with a hammer. So that had to be edited out. So it said some very bad things, evil, evil things when I realized I goofed. So cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, Heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lip, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is! Nothing worse than you realize that after you've started gluing something up. So, not, not afraid to say I goofed on that one. Although I'm frustrated I goofed on that one. Right, that looks good. Now, this is probably my fifth or sixth set. And each time, unless I'm mistaken, has been the same brand. And the reason why that's important is because every time that I've gotten a set in, 
it's gotten better. It's like they're taking the feedback from others and said, hey, maybe you should do this. Maybe you should change the, the little um, wrench or add this to it. So every time it's gotten better. So this one has improvements over the last time. I don't remember there being multiple wrenches in there, but now there's two in this set. Um, I don't remember it quite being assembled the same way either. So maybe it was partially assembled when I got it, but this is pretty easy to do. I think I prefer mounting it like this last one where the plate, take the mounting plate and mount that and then assemble it, the rest of the caster assembly on the mounting plate. I just think it's easier to do that. So now we're gonna see if we can lift this up and put it down. It's gonna be my workout for the day. <laughs> That's awesome, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Just what the doctor ordered. So what I really, really like about this is just the flexibility it allows you to be able to move things around in the shop. Real easy to use. Hopefully this is a product that you like. Check in the link below. I'll have the Amazon link for if you'd like to purchase that. Now keep in mind the links that I have there, those are affiliate links. If you decide to purchase, there is a little bit that comes back to me. It doesn't change the price of what you pay for, but it does help me in terms of growing the channel and being able to recommend these types of things through Amazon. So I like that. Hope you like it. This is probably my seventh set that I've purchased. And like I said, each time it seems to get better. So I hope it's something you'll consider as well. Thank you very much.